Distance fans, it's your boy. This is Hype 313. Next season, we're one of four teams that will have $60 million minimum in free agency money to go along with the Magic, the Spurs, and the Rockets. With a rising cap and a young core under reasonable contracts, um, we could easily find that missing piece next summer free agency where there's quite a few players that will intrigue the Detroit Pistons, that will instantly make the Detroit Pistons better. Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton may not want to come here. Um, he was a guy that we let go. He found success in the Milwaukee Bucks. He became an all-star with the Milwaukee Bucks. He won a championship. And he's on the wrong side of 30 entering next summer. Christoph Porzingis intrigues me. He's only 27. He now plays with the Washington Wizards. Um, I like him for a shooting big man. Um, defense rebounding. Just a unicorn. He could be a good player um, for us as well. Um, where would he fit with this current Pistons frontcourt rotation of Duran, Stewart, Bagley, Livers is uncertain. Um, could he up, be an upgrade Kelly Olenek? I believe he could be an upgrade to Kelly Olenek. If he can give us everything Kelly Olenek gives us on the offensive end with much more defense. Um, especially when it comes to the ability to block shots with, a, with being 7-3. You know, that would be great for the Pistons. Andrew Wiggins. That's by far the best player on this list who I feel can really help us and add tremendous depth to the Detroit Pistons. Um, having uh, Sadiq Bay, the three, and having Andrew Wiggins come off the bench, playing some big minutes, slide Sadiq Bay at the small ball four, the small ball lineup, you know, with livers, um, that type of defensive tenacity and off for offensive scoring punch would be a great pickup for us. Now, it's a chance he signed with the Golden State Warriors, but um, maybe Golden State Warriors want to stay underneath that cap threshold. And with 60 million of the Pistons cap space, it would be easy um, for us to go out and sign Wiggins, especially around a young core. D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell is another intriguing point guard. I mean, they had a type of scoring potential off, off their bench behind Kay Cunningham. It's a luxury. Um, now, this is all going to play out in the season with how Killian Hayes perform. Um, I believe Killian Hayes have a chance to have a breakout year. It's two things he already do good. Elite defender, elite passer. If this guy can bring you any type of scoring, continue to be aggressive, as he showed towards the end of last season, he's a keeper. Cheaper and much younger than D'Angelo Russell. But if he doesn't, I can easily see D'Angelo Russell being a poor man, Vinnie Johnson, off the bench when you have Cade and Ivy starting. Harrison Barnes is somebody that can... Um, Give you solid defense, solid scoring ability. Um, somebody the Pistons can look at in the second or third tier group of players. If they fail to sign um, others, he would be a nice pickup. A, a, a Duff um, played the three, played the four. Um, Jeremy Grant, at, um, max contract he currently have with the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, I don't see the Pistons bringing Jeremy Grant back. Um, at that price point, if there could be better options um, on the table for the Detroit Pistons. And, um, you know, Jeremy Grant leaving, you, Sadiq Bates will get more opportunity, more shots to score. And um, I think uh, the Pistons would match well going forward with Sadiq Bay, the second or third option versus the fourth option when Grant was here. Kyle Kuzma, 27 years old. Michigan native, um, another trigger player that, you know, Troy River like to get um, second chance players a chance, uh, Michigan guys. 
I think Kyle Kuzma would come in and produce for us. Um, maybe playing a four position behind Bagley or Stewart. Um, could be a nice pickup too. Again, of a player that could be available to Pistons um, after their number one priority is they tier one guys um, is off the board for them in free agents. Kelly Oubre. Um, people currently right now, you fans already is uh, lobbying for the Pistons to trade for Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre, an archer, archer offer athletic player. Um, dunk on you in a second. Um, three-point shot. I'm not sure if his three-point shot is consistent, but he'll definitely bring a, a lot of athleticism, quickness um, to our lineup and transition. You got Hamadou Diallo's. Um, Jay Nivey, man, watch out. We're already a fun team, but still young, still got upside. Um, not too far from the core's age. Um, could be a nice pickup for the Pistons again. Maybe a tier two, tier three guy when your primary guys is not a Seth Curry. Seth Curry, the Pistons currently need shooters as we only have a few shooters on the team. Sadiq Bay, Isaiah Livers. Kelly Olenek, um, proven shooters, Alex Burks. Um, we could use some more shooting. Um, I don't know if Seth Curry is really a better player than Alex Burks. If Alex Burks shoots the lights out, it may be just cheaper to keep him over Seth Curry. Um, but again, we release that cap. Um, we see how that play out, but this team always needs shooters. The other guy I want to talk about is Matisse Tybel from the 76ers. Um, this guy is an elite defender. Um, they play multiple positions. Can definitely guard the offensive team best guy. Um, thing with Tybees or Tybal is his offense is not there. And um, when a team need more shooters and more spacing, um, how can we you can play the guy? Um, last but not least. Restricted free agent Tyler Hero. Uh, if we're able to grab Tyler Hero without giving up any assets and then just matching Miami's deal, that's a win win win. I mean, Tyler Hero is getting up in age, um, he's a shooter, but you really don't want to give up no assets um, that Miami was once upon a time wanting. To get rid of Tyler Hero, so we can nab him a restricted free agency. That'd be a plus. I know I guarantee that Detroit Pistons is going to look at that guy. Um, him coming off the bench, instant offense behind Ivy, instant offense like no other. That would be a great thing. So the Pistons, are we one piece away? Is the question. Are we one piece away? It don't have to happen in free agency. It can happen in the NBA draft. Give you guys one name. Wiyamba, Victor Wiyamba, 7-3, unicorn. Believe you can play three positions in the NBA right off the bat. Small forward, power forward, and center. Great defender, great block shots, three-point shot. I think he's going to be better than Chad Holgum. I also did a video on that. I think he's going to be better than Chad Holgum. I think he got more potential than Christoph Zingas, who can't really defend as well. Um, this guy is most likely going to be number one draft pick. I think we have a chance to get a number one draft pick. You know how it goes. I mean, we're a young team. I'm expecting us to win a lot more games and improve and get in the play in tournament, but injuries happen. You can easily get injured, fall down, the, fall, fall off. You know, also. Ping pong balls. You never know when that's going to fall. You can have the fourth, fifth worst record in the NBA and leapfrog into the number one spot. So, one of those players that I named in free agency or the draft could be the missing player. And we're talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers. They rebuilt. They got down up in Mitchell, they superstar. Well, we can get our star. Or superstar. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.
Till next time, it's been your boy Pistons Hype 313.